Hey babes. So welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are the McKnight Twins. My name is Abby. My name is Emily. And it's time for our summer favorites for yes. 2023. So excited. We love making like seasonal favorites. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's one of my favorite videos to film. Mm -hmm. Fall favorites, winter favorites, summer favorites. It's all so much fun. And it just, we like to find products that just put you in that mood yeah. of whatever season it is so obviously all this stuff is like things that smell really good things that are glowy things that are you know protective of your skin and make you just glow in the sun this is the only season we really wear color at all yeah. so take it in y'all we're wearing pink pink which we love Crazy. pink we've been obsessed with pink for the past few months mm -hmm. i'd say yep um but that is definitely the color of the summer too and i know as soon as fall rolls around we're gonna be over it the only season we really despise is spring so yeah. thank god we'll never it's over you'll never catch us doing a spring okay. ever never ever so it's it actually that season ain't it for me also you guys are gonna have to let us know what you think of this new setup i mean it's not really new i've had this in my apartment for a long time but yeah. we just haven't filmed in here yet so i know i told emily i say it's time let us know time literally you bought this couch I know. This cute little boot clay couch just so in we can film in here anyway and let's get into it because abby and i yeah. couldn't really narrow it down we did try this is gonna be but a long video it's gonna be very very long so so get i'm in a chatty mood too which is like not good because <laughs> i'm gonna chat your guys's ear off so please get comfortable yeah get a snack get a drink whatever you want and Get ready to spend some money because mm -hmm. these favorites are fire. I, I feel like that every time, but I feel really good about these favorites. These will elevate your summer. Oh, yeah. A lot of these products are just to make you feel more beautiful, hot, sexy, things like that. Let's so start with some body products. Yes. Which is the majority. Yeah, this is the majority of what we have to share with you guys. Okay, so I actually got sent this in PR. You didn't get that in box, did you? No, I bought Okay, this. you bought that. Okay. Yeah. So this was the first time that we've tried this brand's products. I think you pronounce it Kapari. Yes. Um, it is a sun shield body glow with SPF 50. UVA. Oh, yours has SPF 50? Mm -hmm. The rose gold has SPF 45. Okay. Interesting. Weird. That's but weird. UVA and UVB and yeah. PAVA free. So yeah, this is just a basically a body oil with SPF in it and a little bit of shimmer. Mm -hmm. I have the rose gold one and Emily has just the gold one, I guess. Yeah. These are so beautiful because they're so hydrating and they make your skin look so soft and glowy. I love the pump. Yeah. Yeah, the pump is really nice and it's not like a sticky oil. It's like a gel oil. Almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just so it just hydrating. It seeps into your skin so good. And it smells good too. And it's not it too... Good. Powerful. Like the scent mm -hmm. isn't overpowering at all. It's very light. It's so good though. So I'm just gonna read the description real quick. It says with coconut hibiscus and kukui. I definitely butchered that. Mm -hmm. Nut oils. This lightweight sheer body gel is a sweat and water resistant sunscreen packed with moisturizing oils and nourishing vitamins. Ethically sourced natural pearlescent minerals will give you that perfect shimmer while innovative sunscreen ingredients shield you from the sun. Never greasy, always glowy. Yes. That's what I like about this. It's not greasy. It's not sticky. Mm -hmm. It's just really moisturizing. Like I said, it really seeps into your skin and just makes your skin look so healthy and glowy while protecting it. So this is just an amazing product and I love. Obviously, I haven't used it that much. I've used Emily quite a few times and that's how I knew I wanted to spend my own money on it. But when I saw the rose gold one, I was like, let me just yeah. get something different because you have these cute. We share. So another body product, if you like the glittery shimmery look which i really do especially when i'm like going out at night obviously boating and in a bikini as well but especially at night you know after a pool day after a beach day after a day on the lake or whatever yes. if you're going out to dinner on a mm -hmm. date night you just want to look and smell so good so this just really obviously makes your chest and your whole body i use this every night when we went out in scottsdale on my bachelorette it smells so good and too. it smells so good it smells like summer it smells like bananas mm. coconut sunscreen but it smells like oh, a rich gosh. woman summer like you're yes. in italy you're in positano mm -hmm. you're in mykonos so and i you just know. love the packaging too it's just this really pretty champagne glittery oil yeah. obsessed pricey yeah that's why i oh, got the it. mini size because it's not too bad when you buy the little one and this will last me a long time I'm obsessed. So sticking to body products, I'm just gonna do a quick rundown. These products are from Trader Joe's, so I'm so sorry if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you. Um, you could also get the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, and it's 
pretty much identical but this is just a fraction of the cost Wait, and cheaper. i just love this scent in the summer it's not summer i'm not using it because i want it to remind me and bring me back to summer mm -hmm. i'm really weird about my fragrances like i have to use them for certain seasons um this is the brazil nut there's the body scrub the body butter and i also have the um the body wash that just came out this year i want the wash and it's a very good size and very affordable this has coconut oil and shea butter and it's just a salted caramel and pistachio scent and it's so yummy mm. you smell like a brazilian goddess bikini model oh so good mm, i need that yeah it's i super really need that it's mm -hmm. so good this is a pricier product it's not terrible but it's really worth it this is the i think i you pronounce it way mm -hmm. um body cream in the saint bart's scent i have seen that all over you guys i know so i wanted this really bad before the bachelorette but it wouldn't come in time it smells so good it smells like a pina colada but better because i usually don't like the smell of pina coladas but it smells yeah. like a better it's not mm -hmm. so like pineapple-y you definitely yes. smell some pineapple it's more coconutty but a little bit more coconutty mm -hmm. and banana-y yeah it smells so good and look at the consistency of that very it's thick so She's thick and thick. moisturizing i'm really lazy when it comes to my body care i'm not gonna lie like moisturizing <laughs> my body after the shower is just a task I, I take really good care of my, the skin on my face, but not so much my body, but this makes me want to use it. Especially when you've been out in the sun all day and your skin is dry mm -hmm. and you just want to lather it with like a super thick moisturizing body cream, but that also just smells so good. Yeah. This is summer, especially if you are going on a vacation, pick this up and bring it on your vacation. So that way you just have that like beachy, yummy, like thick moisturizer to put on at the end of the day. So and then it will transport you back to your vacation. Yeah. I love when products do that. Yes. Me um, too. Okay. So the next product is a shave oil. I've talked about this before, like a while ago, but um, it's especially loved in the summertime because we need that close shape. We need yeah. our legs to look smooth and hydrated and mm -hmm. no razor bumps, none of that. No. So this is the Tree Hut Bare um, Moisturizing Shave Oil. Soothe skin and helps protect against cuts, which is true. When I use this, I rarely ever cut myself, and I'm not a very careful shaver. This is the watermelon scent, which is perfect for the summertime, and I just love this so much. Okay, it doesn't it smells like kind of artificial watermelon, mm -hmm. but but yeah, it but smells like childhood. If you want the best shave of your life, you're gonna use a exfoliating scrub. I've been using this one, and then afterwards you go on with this and you shave away. You're gonna be so soft, like yes. baby soft skin. And when you're in a bikini and shorts and dresses, you wanna make sure that your legs are soft. Mm -hmm. And you, you know. want them to glisten in the sun and be yes. smooth and soft. Yes. Exactly. Okay, I'm jumping ahead because I'm thirsty and water doesn't sound good. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I am too much water. Water doesn't sound good right now. So I'm just gonna crack one of these open, which is also a favorite. I have two uh, drinks to share, both alcoholic. So sorry if you're sober. But um, I have been obsessed with passion fruit. Anything passion fruit, Emily knows. I, <laughs> I don't understand. I I feel like people think it tastes like VO or yeah, like it just doesn't. It it does something for me. It's the same with you and that mango white claw flavor. I can't with that I one. I love mango, and I can't with the passion fruit. Okay, this I will say this is better than the passion fruit white, white claw. claw. Mm, try it again. I love porn star martinis and that's been my like recent obsession lately and it's passion fruit juice and vodka and prosecco and lime and all that good stuff but like who wants all those ingredients it's okay so I love high noons high noons are better than white claws in my opinion I don't know if it's just because they're vodka. made with real vodka yeah but white claw did come out with um vodka seltzers too yeah but I don't like those I haven't tried them yet they're not very good but anyways, anything passion fruit in the summertime is like my jam and I love that no one likes it because everyone gives me the passion fruit white claws and the passion fruit. I love fruit a good spicy noodles. passion fruit mar at a restaurant. But anyways, don't mind me. I'm just going to be casually <laughs> sipping on this throughout the video. So mind your business. Cheers, babes. Moving on because we are going to be here all, all damn day if we don't start. I don't think they mind. You guys can come back another day. Watch yeah. half of it today and half of it or tomorrow. Or like an hour long cardio session. I'm hoping this isn't an hour, but it's probably going to be upwards of it's like 45 minutes minutes by the way we have no clothing items to share because that would just make this too long we really wanted to narrow it down to just beauty and like lifestyle products 
yeah. not fashion. Sorry if the lighting is going in and out and in and out. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on. It looks too bright. But it does sometimes. Oh, oh see, that's perfect. That's if better. it could just stay like that, yeah. please. So we keep showing. We need these. like someone to help us with technology. You guys are in for a treat. We love perfumes. Like every season, Abby and I are very passionate besides spring, but as soon as <laughs> winter. <laughs> We're just spring haters, y'all. Well, we have our all year round sense. But like fine. spring is just the worst. We're gonna make this as quick as possible. Um, we're gonna talk about a few perfumes. I did look up the notes on this and it just has mm. me really stressed. Well, um, <laughs> because I cannot pronounce <laughs> any of these notes. Stressed. Read that and you'll understand. This is the description. Blue, oh, my I thought brain. it said blue cheddar. I was like, <laughs> no, my brain hurts. Reading blue this. cedar, I've anyway, never heard of that. This is kind of a throwback. This is like my first expensive perfume that I bought in high school, and I recently discovered it again. And I'm almost out of this bottle, like, it's not a cute bottle. Ignore. Well, it's um, getting mermaid, I kind of yeah, like it. It's called Turquatic, it is by Mac. Like, yeah, which I can feel right now. Such a sexy summertime scent. It could be day or night. I think, um, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about it. It's notes, nostalgic. It is so unique. It's just nostalgic to me. It is nostalgic. It's just so unique. So it says, it's a classic sea-inspired fragrance with notes of, I don't even know. Maybe just describe. Wait, actually, there's no there's way to no describe way it. To describe it does it. smell kind of like sea salt and like vanilla mm -hmm. and a little bit of fruit. It is, yeah. It's very like crisp and citrusy. Yeah. But it still has a little masculine side to it too, which I really mm -hmm. like. But this just really brings me back to like when summers were simple. All I had to do was not do homework <laughs> and lay and with our iPod Nano. And, and I thought it was like really hot back then, and I was not. <laughs> But this perfume nice. made me think Yourself. I was something. Anyway, if you are on the hunt for a very unique, sexy, beachy summer scent, Mac Turquatic is the one. Lay back for this. Okay, so. get comfy here. <laughs> it's gonna grow on you. Watch. I'm gonna get passion. Fruit. I'm gonna get Emily obsessed with passion fruit, just like I got you so. obsessed with blush. And I'm trying to get you on some books. So the first perfume I've already mentioned on our channel on the last Amazon video we did. It's Vacation by Vacation. And this is like a viral perfume now that I, you see all over TikTok. If you have TikTok, you've heard of it most likely. Did you see that, that Michaela um, girl? That was one of her top three contenders for her wedding. wedding? And I was like, no, no, that is not a wedding perfume. No, this but is just, hun this is honeymoon for sure. Bring yes. this on your honeymoon, but yes, do not wear this honeymoon. on your wedding day. Because mm -hmm. this smells like straight up sunscreen, coconut, and like, like sand, salt water. It feels like, this smells like you've been laying on the beach all day in mm -hmm. Mexico or wherever, wherever there's a beautiful beach. You've been laying on the beach all day, reapplying yeah. your sunscreen, reading a book, drinking a pina colada, endless summer vibes. Mm -hmm. And it's delicious. It is. But um, you can get this on Amazon, Ulta, those are the two places I've seen it. But the notes of this are, or it says mix it, Mixes classic sunscreen notes, coconut, banana, pineapple, orange blossom with classic poolside notes, pool water, pool toy, swimsuit, lycra. And the top notes is petite grain essence, coconut water and coconut milk, heart notes, bergamot, solar musk, banana and pineapple, and the base notes are pool water, swimsuit, lycra, and sea salt. So I honestly smell every single description in this. Mm -hmm. it smells so good. Yeah. Like if you just want to be transported to a vacation i honestly like five have, star resort. i have sprayed this all over myself and laid in my backyard and just like pretended how is the lasting power of that um it's good but it's not the best okay like I, you don't really like it's not like a heavy scent it's kind of a lighter scent mm -hmm. so um it is something that you kind of have to use a lot and then it does fade out throughout the day which i feel like is more common than not yeah it's annoying it um is. but this one the lasting power is bomb on this one Okay, get ready you guys because I have a lot to say about this perfume. So this was sent to me and Emily in PR and so I probably wouldn't have bought it myself, especially because it's not on Sephora or Ulta. You have to get it on the YSL Beauty website. But if you are a bride, 2023, 2024 bride, you need this. In my opinion, this is the perfect wedding day scent for like a summary. If you are doing a winter wedding, not so much, but if it's a summertime wedding outside or mm. just yeah like a destination wedding this would be perfect for that so this one oh my gosh every time i smell it 
I just, I don't know. It smells like the most like sexy, feminine date night perfume ever. It's heavy floral, but really I was sweet gonna say, at it the is same very time. Very floral. That's and I, and I don't that's let that scare you. Me out a little bit. Don't let that scare you, because Emily, when she first said, smelled it, she said, "I don't like it. it. Smells like a bouquet of roses." And at first, I was like, "Yeah, you're kind of right." But the more I smell it, the more I smell the sweetness and the fruitiness and like the sexiness to it. I will agree that it's floral, but very floral. But Laura and I are obsessed with this. Laura has agreed with me that this is bomb, and she's a fragrance snob. She is a connoisseur. She or knows a snob that's the road. Connoisseur. No, in a, in a good way. Yeah. Like she she's, knows her she's fragrance. obsessed with perfumes, she and does. she knows she knows the good stuff. Let's read what it says. So keywords, floral, rose, fig. It says it's a unisex fragrance. I can't believe it says that. Yeah, no. It's not unisex. This is 100% feminine. If my boyfriend was wearing this, goodbye. <laughs> it's not gonna It's work. for the gays and the girls. Gays and the girls only. So this is called Lavalier. I don't know if I'm saying that right. The new fruity floral fragrance with notes of rose and fig. Lavalier is that is that YSL union between masculine and feminine in a fragrance. A silky touch of luscious, delicate notes of creamy fig and sparkling black currant are enhanced by radiant rose, signing this composition with a green floral twist, taking its name from a woman, the Duchess of La Valere, but originally inspired by men's accessories. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand that. The La Valere is, by its very nature, gender neutral. Again, disagree. Throughout time, Saint Laurent twisted the Lavalier into the most YSL accessory of all. The floral family becomes a fragrant tribute to the most flowing accessory, inspiring the most fluid attitude. Okay, just ignore. I mean, we might even just cut out. That was a lot. But you need to know is it's a fruity floral fragrance with notes of rose and fig. It's masculine and feminine and silky, but it's not masculine. It's just not it does, masculine. But anyways. A uh, discovery I made in Scottsdale because I brought that with me to Scottsdale because I've been spraying this mm -hmm. when anything wedding related I've been spraying it so my bachelorette trip when I went um wedding dress shopping I'm pretty sure a heavy bottle. Bottle. there was a few things wedding related that I brought this I wore this because it I wanted it, it to remind me of anything wedding related yeah and now it has that it's already captured that for me um, it is a really beautiful sophisticated scent yes very like womanly like you are mm -hmm. a full-grown mature woman yeah um but like you're dressed really fancy and classy yeah. i do I agree know. with you that it is a really beautiful wedding day scent it was a mouthful i'm just really passionate about this fragrance and i think it's 100 percent worth the price it is pricey get the small one if you're gonna buy yeah it. get the small one because this will last you a long time one squirt is powerful mm -hmm. i sprayed um, a blanket with this i don't know why i was just like wanted to spray my new blanket i got from home goods with it and i did that like three days ago and it still smells just like it like the okay, scent has good. not gone away at all so it just smells so yummy we're moving on but if that's you're, a very pricey fragrance if you're in the market for a new summertime fragrance or just wedding day perfume highly recommend so abby and i both have talked about this before i originally became obsessed with it and then abby also became obsessed with this because so it is just the best sunscreen to wear underneath your makeup. I mean, I wear it every day, pretty much. Um, Me but too. I wore it today. It's hard to find a sunscreen that just doesn't ruin your makeup. It doesn't pill. It doesn't slide around. It doesn't have it's, a white cast. Yeah, so I, it does look really white. And I'm so glad they just sent me another one of these in PR. I was so relieved because I was like, thank God I was about to run out. This is a very thin and like almost watery consistency, as you can see. But watch when I rub it in. You'll just kind of see the way it like melts into the skin. It's called the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid. So it doesn't like leave a white cast at all. It's very like, it's not super hydrating. I won't say that. But it is. No, I feel like it is hydrating. I feel like it's not as hydrating as I would wish you it would be. You still need a moisturizer under yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Which I want to do anyway. Because this isn't going to give as much benefits as a moisturizer mm -hmm. would. Um, and this has broad spectrum F SPF 50, which is amazing. It says water light fluid minimizes the appearance of pores, helps prevent UV damage and signs of aging. And I think it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love this this sunscreen for your face. It's hard to find good ones. So this is a 10 out of 10. And really quickly, they sent with this in my PR package, this um, Healthy Glow Invisible Sunscreen Oil. This is new. So if you want something a little bit more hydrating than just like a whatever like that No is. makeup, makeup day. Yeah, so this is like, it's a really also thin and watery consistency. 
but this just melts into your skin and just look at this sis you probably love this packaging yeah that's really pretty but do you see what it just did like it is a little like oily it's it is on the oilier side but once you let it seep into your skin it is good under makeup as well mm -hmm. so i really appreciate that and i just love a good moisturizing sunscreen product mm -hmm. and i have so many love this bottle. sunscreen oils for my body but i just love that now i have a nice one for my face because you gotta protect your face honestly you so can just important. drip it on your chest too yeah that's like these two areas they have to be protected that's yes. like where i draw the line i'm like these two mm -hmm. everywhere else i'm like Fry me, but yeah. so if y'all want like drier skin, I feel like this is good because it leaves you like a dewy finish. Whereas this one yeah. would be good if you're on the oilier side because this one isn't too hydrating. Okay, so moving along with some beauty products, Emily and I both have a few to talk about. You only have two, but yeah. I have quite a few Inherited to them. talk about. So first ones being like bronzer products and products that just make your face look more tan because like we said we protect our skin on our face so we're trying not to get our faces super tan um so you like to bronze it up with products the first one being the rare beauty contour stick and always sunny i have bought so many contour sticks lately i've bought the lys one and then the makeup by mario one i've been trying a lot of them and this one to me is just the best yeah. that i've tried i still I like the this mario one, one. I, yeah, the Mario one's pretty not good. Not the sculpt stick. It's a skin enhancing like the... Yeah, that yeah. one's way better. Yeah, um, not the stick. But the stick, for, for a stick cream bronzer, this has been my favorite, especially mm -hmm. the shade. It's just perfect. So I blendable. Love. So blendable. It's perfect for underpainting. Has just the right amount of cool tones and warm tones. And it's what I have on today. That was the cream bronzer I used. And yeah, it's just so blendable and creamy and just provides a most like beautiful bronzy shade I will to your say, cheeks with that product i don't like just like drawing a line on my face and blending it out it's way better if you apply the product directly to your brush and then apply it to your skin because mm, it can kind of drag your foundation around i've noticed because it's so. so creamy that yeah. it kind of moves around mm -hmm. i see that yeah um but i i haven't tried it like that i you have should. to um, and then for powder bronzer, I've been loving the House Labs. Emily's not obsessed with this. She returned hers. But I really like this bronzer because it's not super crazy pigmented. I did not like it. I just didn't think it stood it out to it. me because I have so many bronzers. I was like, it's just not worth it. Every time I do that, it gets so dark. So sorry about that. But this is in the shade medium level 5. And what I like about this bronzer is that it has just the tiniest bit of shimmer. It's not like 100% yeah. matte. So I feel like that's super pretty for the summertime. And I love how big this compact is too. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of product in there. Yeah, I love that. So I've been loving this bronzer. And then for cream blush, I love cream blush. But this one has been so beautiful. Stunning. Ever since I got this, I have been using it every time I do my makeup. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand in Peach Pop so pigmented it's like a neon coral we hold this very pigmented and blendable in my makeup bag. oh no I'm so sad but look at like how bright that is it's so pretty in the summer with the tan mm -hmm. obviously as we all know peach blush just is superior in the summertime yeah like a corally peach blush oh so good with the tan so pretty and i love the finish of it because it's not actually like super matte it's like a it's semi like a matte. matte and oh, it's just stunning so pretty i love that it's worth every penny i know it's expensive which is annoying yeah very pricey but it's definitely worth it in my opinion and then this is a concealer which i love for my no makeup makeup days when i just kind of want to brighten up my under eyes but not do use like a thick cakey concealer i don't even usually set this with powder when i use it i just pump some on my fingers and rub my fingers together and pat kind of like an eye cream because it's yeah. a serum, it's that a is concealer a really serum. It's called the Bear With Me Concealer Serum by NYX. I have it in the shade beige and I just love this product. Super affordable and like I said, it's just really great to have a not so like full coverage heavy concealer for day when you're going to the gym, yeah. just no makeup days when you're putting sunscreen on and some glow. Mm -hmm. Little bit of concealer to touch up any red areas or anything like that. Yeah, it's very hydrating. It's like skin like, mm -hmm. but still gives you the perfect amount of coverage that you would yeah. need for like a casual daytime look. Mm -hmm. um, if you want something more full coverage, obviously. 
that it one does will, give, cover everything. Yes, but it does give good coverage, mm -hmm. honestly, I will say. Yeah. It covers what I need it to cover and it makes me feel more put together, like I said, without committing to like a full coverage mm -hmm. concealer. Okay, and then I've been obsessed with these ColourPop shadows lately, specifically like shimmery ones. These two have been my favorite. I brought these on the bachelorette trip with me and I just think they're stunning. Watch. So the first one, yeah, that one's called Ritz and it's like a nudie bronzy it's a very shade. neutral gold it's not like a warm gold it's almost yeah. like a cool tone gold yeah with silver glitter so very so pretty pigmented but like not to the point where it's gonna it's be over kind of bearing reminds me of space cowboy but just not so glittery a little more shimmery instead yeah. of yeah i don't know if the camera's really picking it up but it's it is so pretty so, i do have it on right now oh you can see it here like it's just it's very gorgeous. iridescent yeah. and when it hits the sun or certain light like at nighttime or if you're out at a restaurant it's dark when the light hits it it is so stunning it's like captivating yeah and then this one is called mountain lion let me just show you what it looks like it's this white shadow with pink glitter which is so pretty for bridal looks mm -hmm. and going out um, let me show you right here it's just like a really pretty topper to throw on your lid or inner corner I I used it in my inner corner a lot on the bachelorette trip and I was obsessed. And then a few lip products, just a couple. So quickly, my favorite lip liner, kind of all year round, but especially in the summer, is NYX Nude Truffle. I feel like the lasting power of this lip liner is really good. Super cheap. It's a little drying. I, I like that though because then it lasts longer. Yeah. So just make sure your lips are hyped. Don't use this if your lips are chapped or high or like dry. Yeah. Um just make sure you're applying like a lip balm or a mask before you get ready and then it'll be good to go by the time you get to your lips. Yeah. I never really have dry lips because I moisturize the shit out of them <laughs> at night. But yeah, I love this lip liner. It's kind of like a neutral brown mm -hmm. lip liner. And I feel like, like I said, it just lasts really good throughout the day. And then two glossy lip products, which I was gonna do glossy. Every time I'm like, we film, I have intentions to do glossy lips, but then I just do matte because it looks better on camera. Yeah. But in person, I do love wearing gloss. So the Dior lip oil is my number one favorite glossy lip product because it makes your lips look like glass. It's like this mm -hmm. thick, juicy, hydrating, plumping gloss. Something so special about this lip oil that's why I bought three of them because they're <laughs> expensive and I would not spend my money on. I wouldn't buy a $40 lip oil if it wasn't like worth it. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, and I've gone through two of them already. So this is my last one. I get the Universal Clear, which does end up turning a little bit pink, which I like because then your lips look more hydrated. I like the pink and color too. That's the one that I have and I really do like it because it doesn't actually like leave too much color behind it just makes your lips look really healthy same with this i feel like pink and this are like the same thing yeah pretty much honestly i don't know why it even is called universal clear when it turns pink <laughs> yeah so weird but i was gonna say the closest thing i found to a dupe to the lip oil is the covergirl clean fresh yummy gloss but this is in the coconuts about you which is like a really That's it's a really nice. thick it has that same like consistency yeah, as the Dior lip applicator oil too like that dofa applicator yeah it's it makes your lips look really wet and juicy but how's the lasting power on that it's good okay um so what i actually do is i like to do a thin layer of the Dior lip oil and then this on top and your lips just look amazing yeah the so only, that way you don't run out of the oil exactly yeah. yeah the only problem i have with this is that your lips go numb like oh your lips like to feel dead. You're like at the dentist. Is it supposed to be plumping? I don't think so. That's why I don't, that's why I haven't recommended it because I'm like something, there must be an ingredient in here that's like, I don't know. Look how pretty it is. It's like it a is sheer pretty. nude, thick gloss. And so I love it, yeah, but I don't fun. reach for it because my lips go completely numb. <laughs> and so it's just a weird sensation. Let me know if you guys have tried this and you've experienced that, let me know and like explain it to me because I'm kind of scared, but I still oh, sometimes weird. reach for it, but I don't feel that numbing sensation again once I have a thin layer of this and I put this on top, then I don't really feel it. A little bit, but it's not like as powerful, so this is like a barrier. I don't know, but these two together are really pretty. <laughs> so if you don't care about like a numb lip, then... lip combo. Well, this is cheap. That's why I was saying if you don't care about your lips feeling numb, like this is the closest thing I've found to dupe to the Dior lip oil. Oh, another kind of pricey lip product that 
recently Abby and I have discovered because it was sent to us in PR. I'm sorry we're kind of talking about a lot of things that were sent to us. Um, no, we don't have to talk about it. But yeah, there's no obligation. So we're not saying this for any reason other than the fact that we love these products. And I'm so glad that they were sent to us because I don't think I would buy them. Um, I actually was going to buy that, but it was sold out. So oh, I'm really? so glad I didn't. Yeah. Okay, hopefully it's not sold out. Maybe it, it is. But if it restocks, get your hands on it. This is the uh, YSL Rouge Candy Glaze in 2. It is, first of all, the packaging is stunning. It says mm -hmm. YSL on there. And it is like a clear balm. I'm just going to put this on my lips so you guys can kind of see. So I have a matte lip right now. And it just makes your lips so hydrated and really blends the matte lipsticks together. I found that like if for some reason my lipstick looks harsh, this softens it a lot. Wow, that added a lot of shine. Mm -hmm. It's very shiny. And it's I pretty. like Abby said, it doesn't look good on camera. Really, because the lights kind of like make it too It does. Aggressive. It's really pretty in person. But in person, yeah, your lips just look... Okay, yeah. I don't it think the camera's good. doing it justice, but it looks bomb. Moving along, I only have one hair product to talk about, and this is actually a recent purchase. I bought this because of our girl, Ashley Thomas. She has a YouTube channel, and she did a recent favorites video, and she was talking about this Kristen S. Working Texture Loose Styling Powder. And since I have extensions and I've been curling and crimping and doing more with my hair than just having it straight, mm -hmm. I want more volume at the root. And I do have a hard time getting that. So um, I used this today and I've used it yesterday as well. I've only used it twice, but I love it. What's cool about this is that it's a pump and it pumps powder Ooh, cool. into your hair. I love that packaging. So I'll show you guys what it's like. Like you just pump some on and then you just rub it in. Oh, that went right into my braid. <laughs> wrong spot but you just pump it into your hair and then work it in and it just gives your hair like texture and volume it smells good it smells good and it doesn't like it's not too gritty to where it's like uncomfortable so honestly i just love the pump that like makes it so fun to use <laughs> i'll do it on this side too and then it also helps with like oil kind mm -hmm. of absorbs oil and stuff so it just gives your hair nice volume and it's really affordable you get it at ulta and I love this. Obviously, in the summertime, I love having voluminous mermaid-like hair. So, right, this just helps give the volume to your hair. So, yeah, love that. One more beauty product or makeup product. This is the House Labs uh, Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. Emily this and I have been good. obsessed. That's the foundation I have on today. So, it is so perfect good. for summer because it says medium coverage and it is buildable. It looks oh, yeah. full coverage, but it's... But it's not. It doesn't feel a full coverage. Yeah. But it looks like it. Um, the packaging is amazing. I love her packaging on all of her products. Me too. It's very heavy and durable feeling. And it also has Arnica in there, which is great. And I don't know. I just love this product. I, for some reason, I put that off. I put off buying it, even though I heard so many good things about it. I just kept putting it off and being like, nothing compares to the NARS. So why would I even try? Oh, and then I, I finally, that. well, you bought it and I tried and I was like, wow. It, it so actually good. reminds me a lot of the NARS. Mm -hmm. It's very, very similar. Mm -hmm. And I actually am considering using that on my wedding day. It's a beautiful, beautiful foundation. And the wear of it throughout the day is amazing. It doesn't mm -hmm. get oily. It doesn't break apart. It doesn't like change all that much. Obviously, everyone gets a little bit more oily throughout the day, but it's not... It's not like the Mario one. That's why I've like decided I, I don't. Mario one too. You, I feel like I decided that I'm not so crazy about it because after like five hours, it just looks oily on me. But this one does not at all. I've had this That's on fair. for quite some time now. But I do have combination and you have more dry. So that could be why. It just depends yeah. on your skin type. But yeah, that House Labs foundation it's is so good. good. It's, it's worth, worth the hype. The hype. Yeah, for sure. It really is. Sunglasses? Yeah. Okay. I just... Narrowed it down to one pair of sunglasses Same. because we've talked so much about sunglasses and um, Abby's are new. I already talked about these in the Amazon one, but I have to talk about them again. Yeah. Because I haven't been able to stop wearing them. And every time I've worn them out, like on a boat or out and about, I've gotten comments on them. They do look cool. Like, they, they look, look expensive. They do look expensive. Yeah. And I don't know what it is about them, but they just are so dark. I think that's why. Yeah. Because I hate when you can kind of see through the sunglasses. Yeah. This blocks out the sun, blocks out the haters, blocks out everyone. Blocks out the hangover. You can stare at anyone and they won't see you looking. So Yeah, you can creep. I can creep peacefully in these. Um, <laughs> but I love them. And they're only like $15 from Amazon. 
Yeah. So and why do I feel colors, like but... Amazon Sunnies are the best quality? Like yeah. they're not gonna break and, and they I'm fit not... your head the best. I'm not gonna be sad if I accidentally drop these right. in the lake. I'm not Order gonna be crying about it later. Exactly. And we have all of our favorite Amazon Sunnies in um, our Amazon store that we will link down below if you guys are interested. Yeah, we have all. a lot. We have a lot there. But I do have a pair of, of a little bit more expensive sunglasses. I Those finally decided to order from Desi because I used to love her collabs with Key. Mm -hmm. And I saw these. These are called the Six Foot Sunnies and I needed them. Those are so I cool. I just love the shape of them. They're like just a cooler version of an aviator. Personally on my face, I feel like the bigger the better because mm -hmm. I kind of have a bigger face. And I'm just obsessed with these. Also these are unisex. Jake wore these once and they looked really good on Jake too. I just feel like these are like cool and sexy. Mm -hmm. I like those. And I love that again they they're expensive. black. They, yeah, they do, they look and feel expensive. And the way it came in the packaging was like, look at this sunglasses case. That is nice. Like, it's beautiful and it comes with a little pouch as well. It just puts a lot of effort, I feel like, into her products and it shows. I really also want the gold pair. Cool. The gold ones are a little bit see through and I think those would be really pretty too. Laura has them. I'm just debating. Jake actually did order them for me for Mother's Day and we had quite oh the- Oh my God, that was so weird. Quite the sitch. It was so weird. I, I was so excited to open the package because so I knew weird. exactly what it was. I was like, that's the Desi box. I opened it and there was a charger and an empty jewelry box. And I was like, there's no way Desi's gonna believe that this really got sent to me. Yeah, it was so And bizarre. so Jake sent them an email and was like, hey, we sent a picture and everything and they, they really didn't believe us. And I knew they went there like, there's no way this would pass our quality control. While I understand where they're coming from, we're not scammers like yeah. that. I'm not gonna just put random shit in a box and say, I, I didn't get the sunglasses. Yeah. When I opened it, I was gonna be like, damn, that really sucks. Um, But they ended up refunding him. And then honestly, I just kind of got annoyed by that so I didn't repurchase them because I was like mm, I yeah, don't really like annoying. that and it made it seem like they didn't believe us which I do understand it was so bizarre but it just kind of annoyed me but I did have a good experience when I ordered the black ones We're almost done guys yes, it's gonna the battery's about to die oh no well your battery's charging so we need to switch batteries real quick and we'll be right back we knew this video would be long. Hang in there. We're almost done. Um, the first thing is this beach bag. It's kind of like a pool bag. Pool bag. I would call that a pool bag. Yeah. The beach. Or I would like not take that to the beach. I could take it to the lake. Yeah. Or something. Um, but it's very cheap from Amazon and I just really like it. I feel like it's very simple, um, but it does the job. It's very big and spacious and I love it. The beach bag I want to talk about is from Amazon. This is actually what I would consider a beach bag. Yeah. Um, it does have a zipper closure right here. This is what I carried all my favorites in on the way over. And I just think it's so cute. Mm -hmm. It's like the straw beach bag. It's just really, I don't know. It's really cute and nostalgic to me for some yeah. reason. And It's lightweight too. It, yeah. It's nice. Lightweight. It doesn't carry all that much. You couldn't fit a towel in it, unfortunately. But you can fit all your necessities like your sunscreen, your... Um, body oils, your phone, drink, a couple snacks. drinks, yeah, things like that. So I do really love this and I think it's so cute. It's also super affordable, under $40 on Amazon and yeah. I just love her. Abby and I have been obsessed with it's our stuff. It's worth it, it's worth it. This is sold out right now yeah. or else I would buy the pink one myself because they're so big. Yeah, I bought Abby the white one for her bachelorette. Um, yeah, I've which you guys probably already day. saw by now anyway like abby said this is such a huge towel that it's very too. spacious i've used this so many times on the lake to the beach in my boyfriend's backyard and abby's backyard everywhere mm -hmm. took it to scottsdale so cute it is such good quality yeah it washes really well like it's mm -hmm. holding up amazingly and i've already gotten it dirty a few times mm -hmm. i do need to wash it again because i have used it all weekend mm -hmm. abby and i spent a lot of time outside in the summer so it's good to just have a big, nice It's like a beach towel. blanket. Exactly. Honestly. Yeah, you can it's, even like have a picnic on it. Yeah, there's so much room mm -hmm. and I love that. So that makes it worth it to me. Okay, and then the last lifestyle product, well, there's a drink that I'm gonna talk about too, but this book. I just started this book yesterday. I love reading in the summertime. To be honest, that's the only time I read. Hopefully this year I do change that. Hopefully I read summer like all year round now, but something about laying in the sun with mm -hmm. a, with a book to read and getting like a lost in a book yeah just is so comforting and relaxing to me and so wholesome it's so nice not being on your phone and time just escapes like yesterday time just escaped because i was so engulfed in this book um as you can see i got pretty far in one day 
for someone like me who also has a child who interrupts me a thousand times for snacks <laughs> but this is called or archer's voice it's a love story and i'll just read you guys the back little description so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it's about I wanted to lose myself in the small town of Pelion, Maine, to forget everything I had left behind, the sound of rain, the blood, the coldness of a gun against my skin. For six months, each breath has been a reminder that I survived and my dad didn't. Oh, this book is really sad. I was gonna say, wow. This book is like, <laughs> there's heavy. a lot of like trauma and like crazy things that happen. It's a heavy read. But the, the like nostalgia and the love and like the cute moments do even it out but yes there are dark parts of this book trigger warning i guess um i'm almost safe again but the moment i meet archer hale my entire world tilts on its axis and never writes itself again until i trespass into his strange silent isolated world archer communicates with no one yet in his whiskey colored eyes something intangible happens between us there's so much more to him than just his beauty his presence or the way his hands communicate with me on me but this town is mired in secrets and betrayals and archer is the explosive center of it all so much passion and so much hurt but it's in archer's silence that we might just find what we need to heal and to live and honestly oh. so this is a really good summer read though because it's kind of like this girl moves to this small town she rents this little house like cottage on a lake gets a job at the local diner she meets this like mysterious hot guy and he's he can only he's not deaf but he can't use his voice so he they speak in sign language but she obviously didn't know that for a while um and it's just like this cheesy romance we love but that but there is a lot of like sad so part of me wishes there wasn't so much tragedy and sadness i wish it was just like a cute carefree summer yeah. love story but i get that that's probably all going to come together and i did see that it has a happy ending so that makes me feel better about mm -hmm. it but to be honest it's so good and and it's not whatever colleen hoover it's not colleen hoover this is yeah i just it kind of reminds me like the cover really reminds me of the colleen hoover books because i just finished it starts with us and that cover looks almost exactly yeah. like this so it looks it, just like it i think it's the font too uh -huh. it looks like exactly the same it kind of gives those same vibes i guess there's a lot of spicy sex scenes in this which i'm excited because <laughs> colleen does typically have like spicy yeah, speaking my of my neighbors are, <laughs> you the, kids, the, car. the upstairs neighbor kids are rowdy oh is it kids mm -hmm. and I was like, uh -oh, kids someone having a spicy uh -oh. day to themselves <laughs> um but yeah i'm really excited to keep reading this book please leave below your book recommendations if you guys like colleen hoover and, and if you've read this or like a summer good feel read i want like summary books to read yeah. okay and then the last thing i want to talk about is this trader joe's wine that is first of all so cheap and second of all, so good. I love white wine in the summer. Back here. This is a Sauvignon Blanc and it's made in France. I will show you guys here so you can screenshot it if you want. It's so funny because Tatum knows exactly where this is and he, last time he brought me a bottle and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's when you know it's a problem. Oh my God. He said, mommy, it's over here. And then he like went to the exact spot and I was like, oh, that, and there was like people around laughing. I was like, cool. Um, called out but oh like in the store yes in the store. oh my god it's so funny <laughs> yeah it was kind of funny he's so cute i thought you went like at home he like brought it to you he's like here's your juice mommy <laughs> no he's he spotted it in the in the store uh <laughs> which is even worse because <laughs> so there's tons of wines to choose yeah. from but he recognized the spot <laughs> um but anyways this is really good it's like a light crisp white wine sauvignon blanc um and when Wines are made in France. They're just better. I'm not... I'd have to look into why, but I just heard. Well, so. soft blocks are also really good if they're from New Zealand as well. Yeah. So, I get, basically, if wine's made in the U.S., it's trash. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I also love what makes this great for summer is it's a twist-off. So, we you love, can bring this on the that. boat. You can bring this to the lake. You don't mm -hmm. need a wine opener. Easy to crack. You can just drink it straight from. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. So, I've been loving that. Hopefully, you guys have a Trader Joe's so you can try it and let me know what you think. Yeah. Okay. so that was everything we did it we did we it did we made it. it through my mouth is so dry i know i really hope that this can be orchestrated in a way that was enjoyable to watch so yeah. sorry if that was hard to watch we're just gonna try and condense this because <laughs> this has been over an hour 
But it was so fun. Over an hour. But I knew this video would be fun. Yeah. We and hope you guys had fun for it. Yeah. We've watching. had this list going for a while. So I'm excited to finally get it out there so you guys can go and check some things out, anything you're interested in. And yeah. yeah. Thank you, babes, so much for watching. As always, we love you so much. And we will see you guys very soon in our next video. XOXO, XO, 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 XO